Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about something called the position vector. What is it? And I remember when I was a student, quite a long time ago that is, that was something very mysterious. I couldn't really wrap my head around what a position vector was. But ultimately, it's actually something pretty simple. It's a vector that's relative to the origin of either a two or three dimensional coordinate system that points to a location in that coordinate system. In our case, since we're dealing with just an XY plane, so we're on the plane, we pick a point and we draw a vector from the origin to that point and that vector then tells us where the position of that point is. It's used, for example, to keep track of a particle that may be moving along a path like that green line that I have here. And if you want to know where that particle is at, at a particular moment in time, so t could represent time or t could represent an angle relative to some angle relative to the x-axis, you want to know where that particle is, you use a position vector. So that vector will have an x and a y component that tells you exactly where that particle is at or where that point is at. So let's read the definition. The position vector indicates the position of a particle or a point relative to the origin. It's as simple as that. The position usually depends on or is a function of some parametric variable. That variable could be time or angle or anything else. So let's say this is time and the particle is moving along this path. At some point in time, when time is equal to t1, the particle is over there. At some later time, when time is equal to t2, the particle is at a different location. And so the displacement from where it was here at time equals to t1 and where it's over here at time equals to t2, that displacement is simply the difference between those two, well, what we call position vectors. And so we write the displacement as being r2, where it's going to be at time 2, minus r1, where it came from at time equals t1. And as we learned before, that's how we can draw the vector representing the difference between those two position vectors that in this case represents the displacement of that. Notice the displacement is not the distance covered by the actual path of the particle, but it's the distance drawn by the difference between those two position vectors, and that's called the displacement vector. That's the shortest distance from here to here along that red line. So, now you know what a position vector is. It's simply a vector that indicates where something is at, a point, a particle, whatever, from the origin to that point, so it's relative to the origin, and it's usually going to depend on some variable like time or angle or something like that, so you can see that as that parametric variable changes, the position of the particle changes, and that's how you keep track of where that particle is at. The position vector will have an x and a y component in two-dimensional space, as an x, a y, and a z component in three-dimensional space. So it's nothing more, nothing mysterious, it's simply that. And that's how we define a position vector. I heard you snicker about my time that I took this as a student. <laughs>